Yo, what's up, guys? It's International O back at it with another one. You know what you got to do. If you follow me on YouTube, you got to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, follow. Get in the comments and let me know what you think about this shoe also as well. Uh, this box is beautiful, man. It says strive for greatness. It has a Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami, Los Angeles. It has the teams that LeBron have played for. And uh, it says Nike Patton 2022. If you guys can see that, the packaging on this shoe is nuts. As you can see here on the back of the box, it has this kind of like a, a, a box under it. So this is like the outer shell. And of course, this is the box. This is, this is beautiful. And I was lucky enough to get them on Nike in a 13 and a half. I know his shoes run tight. People were saying these are actually true to size this time, in my opinion. They lied. If you get a LeBron, go half up or a full size up. It's a basketball shoe, so it's made to fit tight and snug. So uh, if you whatever size you normally wear in the LeBron, stick to that size. I'll just say that. I go half to full size up on them because they run snug. This one actually came with a card. It's explaining the cushion, the air zoom unit, the carbon fiber midfoot shank, the lateral guard rail and the multi-directional outsole traction array. You guys can see it kind of has a breakdown of the materials on the card. Beautiful shoe, man. I I'm not mad at this shoe. Let's just get it open and get straight to it. The LeBron 20 stocking stuffers. I'm calling them the LeBron Christmas. I'm not doing all the stocking stuffer, but yeah, this is the LeBron Christmas shoe stocking stuffer. It has been a long time since I've really dug into, well, really appreciated a Nike athlete's Christmas shoe. It's been a few years. I did get a LeBron, I think 16 or 17, a few years back. Um, but yeah, it's been a while because they don't make them like they used to. This embodied what I remembered when I used to go get LeBron KD, Kyrie, Kobe Christmas shoes. They had the Christmas packs, the Black History Month packs, the All-Star packs. This was like, what, 2000? I think the last good pair I enjoyed was 2014 or 15. And they made beautiful packs, man. They really meant something. Um, and they, they struck it out. They knocked it out of the park with this particular shoe. I don't know if I don't see any other Christmas shoe, like a KD or nothing. Um, I think a KD with kind of this colorway on the KD 15 would have been dope. But I don't see one. But this shoe is immaculate. I love the double swoosh on here. I like everything on this shoe. They're calling this dimensional mesh. Because, you know, usually everyone would call it a prime knit. But they're not calling this prime knit. They're calling it dimensional mesh on the description when I read the description for the shoe. And if you can see here, this tongue is pretty thick. You can see the lining right here. It's a pretty thick tongue. Retail on this shoe, I think, was $210. Uh, but this is a beautiful Christmas shoe. Only thing I don't, this part, this graphics right here, I'm not a big fan of. But I, I'm okay with it. But I'm not a big fan of it. But it, it doesn't bother me as much. Uh, one thing I noticed, though, also that they don't, I noticed they don't do Nike IDs anymore for the athlete shoes as much. And I really would like that because if I could be honest with you, this colorway is the best colorway of the LeBron 20 I've seen uh, that has come out so far. So this one and the um, the bread colorway, I don't know what, what they called it, but it was the black and red colorway. Those are the two best colorways I've seen. But this one by far, hands down, has gotten the other colorways beat and it's not even close, in my opinion. But it would be nice if they could go back to doing the Nike IDs because I would actually love to Nike ID this shoe. And you, they would probably get more sales out of me when they're going back to the Nike ID for like this and the, the KD shoe. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Icy Soul. Gorgeous. This shoe is gorgeous, man. I think that uh, actually there are sizes available still on Foot Locker. So if you go to Foot Locker website, there were small sizes on Dick Sporting Goods and Nike still, but there were like almost, almost a full size run, not completely, but almost a full size run on Foot Locker still sitting. And this is a shoe that slept on. The release dates were kind of confusing. They said Christmas, but then Dick Sporting Goods and Nike pushed theirs up to this past Monday. I copped them Monday. And then um, 
Foot Locker released theirs today, which is the 23rd. Uh, but overall, I'm satisfied with the shoe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this shoe. And until the next video, you guys be cool.